Hi there folks and welcome to module 2 related to solid modeling. Okay, so here we're going to address a few first a few preliminaries a short introduction about solid modeling the tool that we're going to use and then we go into some hands-on tutorials. So the first thing is to address this preliminary so there is no wrong or right way when doing the solid modeling for CFD. Okay, so the only rule you should keep in mind is that by the end of the day you should have okay you should get a smooth, clean, and watertight geometry. And what watertight geometry we mean a geometry with no, with no, with no holes. Okay. So please do your best work when creating the geometry because your mesh strongly depends on that. Okay. And if you are receiving that geometry from an external source, also you should do some cleaning. Okay. You should be careful. Uh, during this solid modeling so uh, session, we are going to show you how to get it started. Okay. With the, this geometry generation tool that we're going to use on shape, the rest is on you. In the website, there are a lot of sources now of training. There are most of them are for free. So you need to pay but also on the internet you can find many free videos okay uh also it's important this concept about design intent okay design the, the intent is is related to the parametrization how easy we can parametrize parametrize that geometry okay after we create the solid so when creating the geometry you should think about should i extrude or revolve this cache or should i use lofton okay how do i should set dimension because there are many ways how you can set dimension so i use multiple parts a single part or how do i parameterize everything so be careful about this think about this one because there are different paths that you can take and as, as i say there is no wrong or right way okay but you should have something that it will give you your final that it will give you your, your final geometry and should be easy to parameterize so there are many tools the tools that we are going to use here is on shape. Here you have the link. You can download. Uh, well, you need to download. It, it, it runs from the web, web browser, so there is no installation involved. But besides this, when there are some other additional free tools. So here you have Salome, Autodesk 360, FreeCAD, OpenBSP, OpenSCAD. So it's up to you to pick up one. We're going to use this one. But if you want to use Salome or FreeCAD. It's up to you. If you want to use Autodesk 360, it's also it's up to you. The steps are pretty much similar. A big limitation about this Autodesk 360 is that it's a very good tool, but it only works on Windows. So now you get the idea that open from Linux. So if you want to communicate these tools, it's not straightforward, but most of the time you don't need to communicate. So it's not an issue. So something also that you should be aware is geometry defeatering. So most of the time, Probably if somebody sends you an external geometry, you are going to get a lot of details. So you need to defeat your geometry. Because when you go into the CFD analysis, it's likely that you don't need to resolve all those details. So for instance, see this pipe, you see that we here we have the knots, bolts, probably there are some washers there, there, and also you have this fillet here. So it's likely that you need to resolve all these details so you can erase that and that will decrease your mesh size because you can use larger larger cells you need to resolve all these details okay so for instance you have this f1 car and see that you have all these details here okay here in the rear part you have here these holes here here also you have this gut here okay you have not both here in the tire and um, whatever you, you, you find here. So if you are doing the mesh and if you want to resolve that, th th those details, it will increase by a lot your cell count. So it's always a good idea also to do some cleaning, okay, if you are doing or if you are receiving non external geometry. So so on shape preliminaries, okay, so basically on shape is a CAT solid modeling application. It provides powerful parametric and direct modeling capabilities to the same level of other commercial tools like SOLIDWORKS, ProE, PTC, whatever, okay? It is cloud-based, so there is no need to install any software. You only need a web browser and internet connection, okay? All your documents are shareable, okay? And multiple users can work in the same document at the same time. This is a very neat feature. I really like this. Okay, simultaneous editing real time. Uh, it runs in any in any device with a web browser. So now you can move from Linux to clusters to even your, your smartphone. Okay, so there is no limitation. It is freely available for educational or personal use. Okay, and the main difference between these two versions, educational and the personal use, is that in the personal one that is free your documents are public. In the educational one or the fully commercial one, your documents 
are private. Okay, you are the only one that can access this document or the people that you give uh, rights to to modify that, that that document. But you have in all versions you have the same features. Okay, the same professional features that you will find in other uh, CAD tools like SolidWorks or Pre. Okay, so if you want to start to register, um, it's a good idea to register to follow this video. Go to this link. Okay. So one thing also, if you are already familiar with Solid Modeling and CAD, you can skip this model and go to model 3 that is related to machine and if you want to learn something a little bit more or you are new to this just you're welcome to follow so just to show you later in the re in the hands-ons we're going to see where more details this interface but something that is in important to, to point out that sometimes the first time that you, you start to use it, uh, you will realize that there is no safe button okay everything is safe automatically okay so in theory you have unlimited uh, undo which is very neat capability and also here you have this button help very useful so just click there and you are going to get a very good health also but you, the, uh, later we're going to see that there is a preference area that you can configure your mouse and so on but what is important is that when when creating parts assemblies and drawings we are going to to use these four toolbars okay that's all we need to use and these toolbars you can manage very complex uh, solids okay so basically in our case we're going we're interested in creating solid power okay so we're going to work with these two do two tools but then you have this when you want to go to more complex things but what is important to point out is that when you are creating a, a 3d part here a solid you need to start from an, a sketch and then from that sketch you create the solid using any of these uh, features like revolve, sweep, extrusion, lofting. Okay, so probably that is something a little bit counterintuitive, okay? And it's important to understand, okay? That you see better here that you go into the, you choose a, a sketching plane, create, <clears throat> create that initial sketch, give the dimensions, and this is design intent. Now, so see that you are giving all these dimensions, but there are many ways to give it, okay? So it's here that I'm giving from here to here, but I could have done it from here to the center. It's up to you, okay? You are the one creating the geometry, but you should do something that you can parameterize easily, okay? So you have this sketch, and then using this basic sketch, you can create the trees, the solid. So see that here, you do some extrusions, okay? You can sketch in faces. See that here, you add it here, another round face here, you no, know, uh, a sweep there. So basically, look at the tools. For a 2D sketch, you can do extrusion, chamfer, okay? Sweep along this curve, so you can take a feature in a phase that already exists, attach another sketch and go along, okay? So as you see, it's very powerful, okay? You, and this is just an illustra illustration later, we're going to see more in details, but, but it's important to understand that we start from a sketch, and from that sketch, we, crea we create the solids, okay? So some charcoals available, later we see that one. And we're going to do a, a couple of solids here, two or three, actually, uh, I think three solids, but just to show you here in the slides, you have the steps by steps. How to create this classical geometry problem. You have seen this, but not the mixing elbow. So something important is that I'm going to show you a way to create it, but there are many ways to create it. So we have all the dimensions here for our purposes. It doesn't matter the units, okay? We just want this number three is one, okay? But it's better as you create it in, meter, in meters. Okay, so really mentioned this about design intent. So something to show you that the steps are very straightforward okay so this is kind of a we're going to do a a, a cold solid modeling okay we're not going to actually open the browser to do it just to see the steps so you see that you select an sketching plane in that sketching plane you create in this case see that we're going to create the backbone of that geometry of the pipe and you can imagine that now here we attach a circle and just follow that that line so see that you attach that circle to that line and see that you create this one then pretty much you are almost there now you can add this small pipe that you have here so you have all the dimensions there you are constrained and see that what is important here we're attaching a reference plane plane to this pipe here so now that we attach this one you can create a circle that there and then we use an extrusion and then we can manage those two solids okay so see that you have it there and off and there you go you have your geometry in a few easy steps then also you can export it you have the option click there and we export so here in these links 
you click here and you are going to go to the learning center that there you have a lot of videos okay have a lot of t uh, tutorials many of them are free some of them are you need to pay but it really works to visit okay if so you want to learn more about uncheck also in our youtube channel there are a few videos there so please visit our web page where we show you the workflow okay using open phone and on shape so let me click here just to show you okay you go to on shape and see that you have the learning set <clears throat> the learning center you can get certified and already certified so it's not a difficult test and you have all these videos here okay very descriptive video uh, and also in these links you have some documents that I already created okay so these are geometries that we we, we have simulated using open phone okay so you have all these well on <laughs> here I'm not showing all the documents these are the ones that we use most often just for training purposes so if you click in any of these links you will get to that document okay so uh, we're going to work in this training with this cylinder mixing elbow a static mixer and also the helmet body okay so if you want, you can click there. When you click there, you're going to open the document and then you need to create, to clone that in your account, okay? Because you don't have access to modify this document. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one that we are going to, to start using uh, on Thank you and bye.